Hello chickens! Um, so, today's video is not a vlog, it's probably going to be quite vlog styled. Um, but today I'm just not feeling good at all. Um, I feel really, really low. I think it's because I'm quite lonely, like today's Tuesday and it's my day off. Um, but Sid's at work and obviously I've moved out so I don't live with family anymore. I have Myrtle but you know she does her own thing and I just if I don't have stuff to do I just get really low. Um, but I mean recently my, my mental health has not been the best and I feel like my self-care has literally yeeted itself out the window. Um, and I've not done anything about it, like I still, like I'm aware that I'm not taking care of myself, but I'm just letting it happen. And I've just sat here, so I, I get up early, so I got up at about half five, quarter to six today. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have a nice productive day, I'm gonna make it a good day and do all of this. And I just am not feeling it, like I've done literally not a lot at all, nothing productive. Um, and I went to my coffee shop that I work at to try and get some like business bits done. But then I left there to go make candles and I was like, oh, I can't bother to make candles. So then I came back home at about quarter to 11 and it's now half 12 and I've sat here the whole time just on my phone, but not even like watching stuff, just aimlessly scrolling and not even like taking in what, what I'm watching. And I feel like this is a problem for quite a lot of people nowadays, is that you don't even enjoy what you're watching. Like I wasn't even enjoying sitting there scrolling through TikTok. I was just doing it because I was trying to procrastinate and fill time. So I thought like I'm in this slump right now and I'm so unmotivated and I literally just wanna curl up in my bed and cry and sleep. But I'm not gonna do that. And the reason I'm filming this is because I feel like a lot of you guys will probably need this as well or are going through a very similar thing. Um, and so I thought, do you know what? I'll make a video and I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do stuff. And we are gonna do self-care. So if you're feeling the same right now or even if you're not feeling the same but you're like do you know what yeah I could do with a bit of self-care then do this along with me okay if you're laying in bed right now sad and depressed things will get better get up and let's do some self-care together so I'm going to do a bunch of things today whether you're able to do all of them or not that's up to you or even if you do just want to sit here and watch the video that is absolutely fine but I feel like I need a push and if I could give that push to you guys as well then that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna cheer up get up and 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 do some bits uh, just just some little bits to make ourselves feel better so come along with me to make myself feel a bit better and hopefully this makes you guys feel a little better too um, so what we're gonna start off with I think is just tidying up the flat, my space, your space, if you're in your bedroom, if you have your own place, if you're in your uni dorm, whatever. If it's a bit messy and it's bothering you, I know tidying is a lot of effort, especially when you suffer with depression. It's 10 times, even a hundred times more difficult to do. But once it's done, it can improve your mood so much. So let's get up together, let's do this, and let's give our areas, our spaces, a little bit of a tidy. So I'm gonna personally start by doing the washing up. There's not much here to be fair, so I'm not gonna get out like the plate racks or anything, I'm just gonna get out the little draining board. Um, oh, I don't have any clean tea towels. Well. See, it's things like this that then happen and I'm like, yeah, no, it's not worth it. I'm just not going to do it. But no, it's fine. We will use, we'll let it air dry. We'll let it air dry. Let's get going. I don't have any gloves. Um, what's also making this easier is the fact that there really isn't much to wash up. Like doing little tasks at a time is so much better than tackling one big, big task because our mind in Sid's bedroom at the moment is an absolute state. 
and I don't think I can physically tidy that right now. It's just too much of a job. But doing these little cleaning tasks will one, make me feel better and two, may potentially give me the motivation to then go and do that bigger cleaning task. Also, I dropped pasta in the sink last night and it's still just chilling here, that's so gross. Anyways, let's shut up and do some cleaning. Right, next step is getting out. Getting out of the house, getting out of your room just for a bit. I I literally was like, cause I knew, I, I know this is something that will help me and will make me feel better. But even now I just sat there after tidying for half an hour. I was like, now I'm just gonna give up on this video. I'm not gonna go out, I'm not gonna do it, I can't bother. And I was like, no, this defeats the whole point. So getting out of the house, Go out and do something that you enjoy. It doesn't have to be anything um, to spend money. Like I'm broke, but I am gonna go and get a coffee because it's only like three pounds. Um, you can even go out and just have a look around a bookshop. Like one of my favorite things to do is just go to Waterstones, not buy anything, just look at the books, go for a walk, go to Sainsbury's, you know, like anything just to get you out of that space for a bit because once you've got yourself out and you're not stuck in that like sad bubble it's a lot easier to then oh my neighbor's looking at me that was so awkward hello um oi um it's just then so much easier to when you get back be in a better mindset and be in a better like mental state to then do something with your day Ignore the massive boxes here. I went to my parents' house earlier and that's the stuff I have left. Oh, I can't forget. I've got to do it in every video now. Sorry, Edward. That is Edward, by the way, guys, not Cedric. I have had a couple of people ask, it's Edward Cullen, but he's the one I'm punching. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Starbucks and get a cold brew. Um, that's my favourite thing to drink at the moment. Oat flat whites are like my go-to coffees. That is what I drink mainly. Um, but when it hits the afternoon, I really fancy a cold brew. So that's what we're going to go and do. That was so lovely. So I went to the Starbucks that I used to work at. And um, people that remember me from when I used to work there literally a year and a half ago remembered me and gave me a discount that's so cute like little things like that make my day i mean we used to do that with other people as well like old staff members if they came back in we'd always give them our discount but i literally haven't worked there in so long so i really wasn't expecting that so that was really really cute um so anyway i got got some cold brew and i'm gonna head back home and i think do my nails i think that's the next step on the agenda because they're crusty and i kind of want to put the like plastic fake nails on and then, then paint those uh because then i'll feel like a bad beep so yeah hello me you okay yeah what? I was only gone for like 10 minutes. The washing machine is so loud. I put another load of washing on, by the way, guys. Be proud of me. Hung out the towels that I washed. Put another load on, didn't I, Myrtle? Mmm. Do you want cuddles? Is this the problem? I think she wants cuddles. I know! Meow! Meow! You wanna come to mummy? You wanna come to mummy? Can you see? Oh, you can't see her. Come here then. 
Oh, there we go. Is this what you wanted? She likes being rocked like a baby. Is this what we wanted, Myrtle? Are you gonna say hi? So I'm bothered now that she's got a hug. Get off my cold brew, man. Um, yes, I think next on the agenda now is to do our nails. Um, I kind of want to do like the whole pamper thing, like face mask. That's all I can think of when I think of pampering. Because I don't like baths, I don't like having a bubble bath. <laughs> Neither does Myrtle, apparently. Um, but if that's what you guys are into, then this is the time. Grab your face masks, bring yourself a bath. I'm not going to do any of those just because I've got makeup on at the moment. Maybe I'll get Sid to do a face mask with me tonight. Um, but one thing I am very into about are how crusty my nails are at the moment. So that's what I'm going to do to pamper myself today. Um, make myself feel a little bit prettier. Um, I think I've got those stick on ones that I can just paint myself. So let's do that. So I've just taken off um, the nail varnish and I forget how... Oh, that's not going to stand up on that. I forget how annoying it is to get glitter nail varnish off. Why can't I put this anywhere? There we go. But I finally did get it off. And I also trimmed down my nails and gave them a good clean because I work at a coffee shop. It's, it doesn't matter how much I wash my hands. So many coffee grounds get stuck under my nails. So they're all nice and clean. And now I'm going to pop these on. Give them a little trim down and a file got all the supplies and then we're going to go for this plain black and I think maybe I'm going to see how it looks after see if I'm happy with it maybe put a layer of like sheer pink glitter over the top so it's like a glittery black but pink in the sun like you can see the pink glitter in the sun um even though I just said how annoying it is to get glitter off but there we go it's on fake nail so I can just peel them off and then I've also got a little nail oil uh, to put on at the end so yeah i'm gonna sit here i'm gonna watch some youtube videos um and sit here and do this <laughs> bit too long also i've only put one layer of black at the moment which look it looks horrific um but if i put two layers of black at the same time they take so long to dry that it's like painful and i just don't want to have to sit and wait for them to dry for that long so it's like one of those things where, like i put my hands on anything and then it just smudges so i'm going to do another layer probably like tonight or tomorrow morning because then it won't be as hard to dry if that makes sense um but i do think they're maybe a bit long so i'll probably end up trimming them down before work tomorrow um because otherwise i'm not gonna be able to make coffee um and i think i am just gonna leave them black once i put the second layer on i'll have another rethink but i don't think putting pink glitter over the top is going to be a good idea but now i'm just going to finish it off by putting some nail oil on my cuticles um which my beauty therapist best friend has got me into doing because she said it's really good for your nails. And honestly, my hands and nails are so crusty. So I'm gonna rub that in a bit and then just leave it to soak. But yeah, so that's another thing that I've done and I genuinely do feel a lot better because I've now tidied, I've gone out, got a coffee, come back to my nails, I feel a lot better mentally. Ta-da! So I'm just playing league at the moment to try and keep the happiness flowing. But look at the rain. Look at this. Oh, it's kind of slowed down now. It was literally like the heavens had opened earlier. <laughs> from the next day um, because 
I'm editing the video now and the lighting, because it got dark outside, the lighting was literally so terrible that I didn't want to include it, so I'm going to refilm it with better lighting. Um, so the next thing I did was, and what I recommend you guys doing, do something you enjoy. I find doing things I enjoy so difficult when I'm like feeling really down and really depressed. Like even things like reading and like even watching like a TV show that I want to watch, like I just get so caught up in things being too much effort that even the things I enjoy don't necessarily bring me joy anymore. Um, so it's the getting started part that's the hard part. Once you're in that activity that you want to do, trust me, you'll be so happy you did it. One thing I'm really enjoying at the moment is cooking. Since moving out, I've really, really got into my cooking. Um, but me and Sid had quite a snacky tea. Like when he came in from work, we both just sort of snacked all evening. But I still did want to cook. Like I wanted to do something productive like that. And that was what I wanted to do as my like activity. Um, so I made us some paprika crispy potatoes and then I made myself a little side salad. And oh my God, they were amazing. Um, so yeah, here's the clips of me making those potatoes, but here's your chance to pick up that book that you've been looking at sitting on your desk or get your drawing pad out, start sketching, like just get off TikTok and get off aimlessly scrolling for a second and do something you genuinely want to do. Cause trust me, once you're doing it, you'll love it. Okay, apologies for the bad lighting, it's night time, but the last thing on my self-care list is to journal. Now, I'm not going to do a normal journaling thing. I honestly think journaling is so good to do. I don't have the motivation to do it every single day, but when you are feeling like this, it's really good if you feel like you can't speak to someone or, you know, you're just overwhelmed and feel like you can't deal with your emotions. Honestly, writing them down can do you the world of good. Getting them out of your brain and onto a piece of paper or recording yourself talking if you don't have the motivation to write because I, I know that can be also be difficult. Struggling with depression, like even getting out a notebook and even beginning to write is so much effort. So even as recording a voice memo and talking and speaking about how you feel, um, what I'm going to do, and this is for my spiritual queenies, and even if you're not a spiritual queenie, you can do this. Um, instead of journaling, I like to do law of attraction pages. And in these pages, you release any negativity, um, which will be my version of releasing this horrible feeling that I've been feeling all day. I have something stuck in my tooth and it's really bothering me. Um, and then we also manifest, which is a positive, and I love manifesting. And so that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, I'm gonna do it on my iPad and I'll screen record it for you guys. And yeah. Okay, so let's do our law of attraction page. I'm doing mine on my iPad. You can actually do it. I usually do it on a notepad most of the time. Um, you can do it on your phone notes. Like literally, it doesn't matter where it is. You can do it absolutely anywhere. Sorry if you can hear Sid in the background. He's being very loud. Titling it. Law of Attraction page. And then you want to date it. So today is the 6th of the 9th, 22. 
Um, I'm from the UK, so that's 6th of September, but I know that I think um, people from the US do 9 slash 6, which really always confuses me. Um, and then also the time, which is 9.22. Myrtle is doing something over there. Right, so what we want to start with is things we're grateful for. Um, this can sometimes be really difficult to remember when you are in a depressive episode. You're so caught up in all the negatives that you forget about all the amazing things that you do have in your life. So we need to appreciate and acknowledge those. So we're starting with gratitude. So you want to do, I am grateful for, and then you want to list, and you can list as many or as little things as you like. If there's only like one or two things in your life that you are grateful for, then that's more than enough. If you've got like 10, you can list 10. It is entirely down to you. So I'm just going to start by listing the first things that come to mind. Obviously Myrtle, my little Myrtle Moo. Brilliant. Um, then the more he's being so loud. Um, the more sad side is release, and here we're going to release all this negative energy that we've been feeling, and all of the bad intrusive thoughts. So in this section, release. So you want to go. I release. Oh my intrusive now you can do this based off of what you're going through and what you're struggling with these are just these are just personal for me um who who else doesn't know how to spell unnecessary no matter how many times i try i can never spell unnecessary Unnecessary. I know that's spelt wrong, don't judge me, guys. Brilliant. And again, that can be as long or as short as you want it to be. And lastly, the manifestations. Now, here you want to write as if you already have these things. So um, say if you're manifesting a new job or, you know, to do well in your exams at school, blah, blah, blah. You'll be writing them as if they've already happened. So, um, for example, I'm absolutely loving my new job. It's making me so happy. Or I'm so proud of myself with how well I did in my A-level exams. I'm so proud of myself how well I did my GCSE exams. Um... Another one for abundance is I never have to worry about money as I am a money magnet, all these things. So now I'm not going to do all, all of my manifestations on this video just because they are quite personal to me. So I'm just going to do some of the squiggly lines to show that this is me adding more manifestations. And then you want to sign this off. So you want to sign this off by saying, Dear Universe, I love you. I trust you. And I believe in you. Love, Cass. There we go. That's my journaling for the night. You can obviously journal normally or do it like this or do whatever you want. Um, and that's that's come to the end of this video. I really hope this has helped some of you guys, even in a little way, even if you've not joined along with me, but you've watched and it's given you the motivation to do something or maybe you've saved the video to do another day, whatever it might be. I hope it's helped some of you in some ways. And um, yeah, if you want more videos like this, let me know. Cause trust me, I struggle a lot with day to day life. And if I can do it along with someone, that would be fab. But if this isn't the content you guys like, then I totally understand. And sorry for the bit of a longer video. I know this video is nearly like half an hour long, but it was needed. So anyway, I love you all lots. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, 
midday, morning, wherever you are. Goodbye.